everyone, Randy here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the GPS mod. For anybody that's uh, watched my channel for a while, you know I use the uh, GPS mod quite a bit. Probably one of my uh, favorite mods. Adds uh, quite a bit to the game in my opinion. So anyway, let's uh, get started here. We're going to start off with a combine, which is going to be a relatively simple GPS setup. Now once we're in the combine here, it's going to be the left control and then the zero on the numpad. Now, if you don't have a numpad, you're probably going to have to go into the controls there and change change what keys do this. But as long as you have a numpad on your keyboard, we're going to do left control and then keypad zero. And it'll show you right up in the help there. And that will turn the GPS on. At this point, you should see uh, two red lines and a green line in the middle there. I know it's probably a little hard to see in the crop there, but there now we can uh, see the green line. Then we're going to do left control and period. This will bring up the advanced options. And uh, you basically just hold down the left control key and then you can use your mouse and click on any one of these buttons we need to here. Next, we're going to do left control and enter. That's going to line the course up to the combine, which if you just started the GPS, it's going to already be lined up. You're not going to have to do that. But we'll uh, just do it for uh, showing you folks how it's done here. So left control and enter lines it up to the combine. And then we're going to do left control and three. Three auto sets the width of the combine as well as any offsets that are needed. Now you can also do this from the advanced options here as well. Let me just, uh, we'll narrow this back up here again just to show you folks. We'll just minus the width here. And then I've hit the little A. Again, hold down the left control and you can use your mouse. Hit the automatic there. And it says we have a 12.2 meter header. We have no offset. We are, should be good to go. So let's uh, fire up the combine here. Then it's going to be left, control, and then W. This is going to lock on the auto steer. There's pretty much two ways you folks can use the GPS mod. You can either do the steering yourself and you'll just kind of follow the green line there. Or you can lock on auto steer, which is left, control, and W. And then uh, GPS will steer the combine for you. That's pretty much what we are doing at this point. And pretty much at this point, the combine is just going to keep going in a straight line, either until you stop it or it runs into something or falls off the map or who knows what happens. There are a couple more things we can do to uh, GPS here to stop that from happening. Uh, I'll just show you folks here, for example, here we'll get to the end of the field and you'll notice it'll just keep going. And basically what we can do with the uh, GPS, we can set end field mode type. You can have it either stop or we can have it auto turn. As you can see, the combine is just going to keep going until it uh, runs into something. I do not have any hands on the keyboard. It's doing this all itself. And yes, there it goes. It uh, stops right there. So basically, as soon as you uh, start to turn, the auto steer will be turned back off. You hear that little uh, beeping sound there. That's the auto steer being turned off. This is the uh, most typical way I use GPS mod. I don't use any of the end field modes. But if you'd like to do that, you can. So what we're going to do here, we're going to set up the end field mode. In this mode, click it once, it's going to stop. And this little button down here. So when it gets to the end of the field, it will stop. And we'll just kind of cheat here a little bit just to demonstrate this. And again, you're going to have to have the steering locked on for this. You've got to use the automatic steer function of GPS. When we get to the end of the field here, it should stop. And just like that, it stops. And then the next mode here, we'll turn back around here again, and we'll set the steer mode. So this will allow the uh, combine to auto steer, and we want it to actually steer the other way. Uh, when you look at the little arrow when you turn it on here, it's pointing to the left. That means the combine is going to turn to the left. Uh, we actually want it to turn in this case. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter in this case, but uh, typically we want it to turn to the right here. Because normally if we had to skip that, that would have been harvested there. And again, we'll just uh, cheat here a little bit, go to the other end of the field just to demonstrate for you folks here. Again, like I said, this is not something I typically do. I typically do most of the turning myself with the GPS mod. 
just because I don't necessarily like how the uh, GPS turns sometimes. And you'll notice here it's probably going to miss a fair piece of it. And there we go. And then basically once we get down to the opposite end of the field here, the uh, GPS should automatically turn us around and come back around the other way. And then once the field is done, the GPS will stop. By the way, it won't continue to turn, so don't worry about the, uh, you know, the GPS. Just keep on going. It will stop. So that's uh, the combine, folks. That's pretty much a basic GPS course there. Nothing particularly fancy. We'll uh, move on here to uh, demonstrating the plows. This is going to require a little bit more offset, and it's going to require some automatic offset reversals. So we're going to start here with the uh, flip style plow, plow that can be turned over here. I've got uh, both style plows here. Uh, the reason I have both styles is it does require different GPS setups. So we're going to get started here. Now sometimes what I've noticed it's best to do for the GPS to calculate correctly, it needs to be straight. So it looks like I'm actually pretty close to being straight here, but just to make sure what I'm going to do, I'm just going to lower the plow here. I'm not changing nothing. I just turn the GPS on, which is again, control zero. We'll lock on the steering and we'll uh, start going here a little bit. So at this point, we should be nice and straight. I'm going to hit control three. Or again, you can bring up the advanced options and hit it here as well. Now we should have uh, everything set up here, hopefully. I'm going to do control enter. It's going to realign the GPS to the tractor which is what we want, and away we go. And I'll notice when we get to the end of the field here, folks, we're going to have a little bit of a problem, which I'll show you folks how to deal with with the plow here. One thing you always need to watch for, too, with the uh, GPS is make sure it has the right offsets. Sometimes you don't want an offset, for example, with the combine. You're probably not going to want an offset, so make sure it didn't set one. In this case, we do want an offset. Also, make sure it has the right width. Uh, for most of the in-game equipment, it's pretty good. And it's occasionally when you get to the modded equipment, folks, that sometimes you will have issues. So now if we turn around. We can uh, turn around here. I'm on. Okay, we got it to turn around here. We'll flip the plow over. And if you notice where the blue line ends up, this is the uh, line the GPS is following, by the way. Now that we have an offset, it's actually following the blue line. You notice the blue line is in the wrong spot. So for this, we need to turn on automatic offset reversal. So basically what's going to happen, it is going to flip the line over. As we're turning our plow over each time, the uh, blue line actually needs to change. And in a sense, it's basically staying on the same side here all the time. It's always staying basically to the left. But actually, I guess it won't be necessarily staying the same all the time because it's actually going to flip sides once we go to the other side, but it's actually always staying on the same side of the field. And that's something we don't need to do with the uh, second type of plow here. And if you turn around once more here, I'll demonstrate this again. Also note, sometimes with these uh, tracked vehicles like this, the GPS mod doesn't necessarily like them. Uh, it does seem to be handling this tractor okay. But uh, just be aware that sometimes tracked vehicles with the uh, GPS do cause issues. So, okay, there we go. Like I said, pretty simple setup here. It's just going to be uh, control zero again to open it up. We're going to do uh, just start out by doing a straight line. I find that tends to work best. That way you get everything nice and lined up. You know, if the plow is a little... Uh, cockeyed behind the tractor. You know, if we auto-calculate the width at the moment, we'll probably get something different. Yeah, you can see now we got a 6.2 width with the offsets way over here. So yeah, just like I said, something to watch for. Sometimes it works best just to actually start with a straight line and then start calculating your widths. Otherwise, you end up with some weird numbers sometimes. Okay, next tractor. We'll uh, show you folks the next plow here. Like I said, this is going to be a little bit different because this is a different style plow here. It's actually going to be a little bit easier setup. 
So again, control zero. We'll just start off going here. Okay, everything should be straight. And then we'll do control three, which is going to auto set everything. Uh, 6.4 width with a 0.4 offset, it looks like. Realign the GPS course. And away we go. And you'll notice the blue line is currently on the right side of the tractor, you know, facing that side of the field. And when we get to the turn it around here, it should actually be on the opposite side, facing that way on the field. As opposed to the other plow there, it's always on, always be on that side of the field, basically, facing that way. Like I said, because this is a different uh, style plow, requires a little bit different style plowing technique. So like I was saying, you'll notice the GPS line there, the uh, blue offset line flipped sides, which is what you actually want it to do in this case. And you notice we're lined up nice and perfectly here, just what you want to see. That should about do it for that. I'll show you folks one other thing here. Uh, when you're using a smaller cultivator like this or any smaller implement, if you are using the auto turn feature with GPS, we'll uh, get this going here and set up a moment. So we get the GPS started and I'll just uh, cheat a little bit and go to the opposite end of the field just so it turns around quicker. Okay, again, we're gonna line up the GPS Auto set the width. Again, you can do it any way you want. If you want to open up the advance, click auto. I keep in mind too, you know, if it's too wide, you can uh, plus or minus it here. Uh, for offsets, if you need to add or remove an offset, you know, you can zero the offset. You can add an offset. You know, if you need to flip what side the offset is on, you can hit that. That'll flip the uh, offset side. You can do the automatic offset reversal, which is like I was saying is required for that type of blue plow there. You've also got auto turn options here, which is like we're say like I was saying, we're gonna get into here in a moment. So we're gonna set this on auto turn. It is set to turn the correct way. And we'll uh, watch what happens here. The GPS is turning around on its own. And you notice it looked like what did it skip there? Three I think that was three rows I counted. The so one two and yes three rows a GPS automatically skipped three rows even though I did not tell it to do so uh, because the implement is too small GPS knows it cannot turn around so it just skips however many rows it thinks is necessary and then uh, continues on now if you do want GPS to skip rows you can actually add lanes here so you can say you want it to skip six and let's see if we can uh, get this set up here again Set it to turn that way. Now it should actually skip six, and I'm not going to count them here, but it should be somewhere in six. I don't know exactly what it's six in between, or this is the sixth one here, but you notice it skipped quite a few now, quite a few more than what it did last time. We'll just set that back to zero. You can also increase the stop distance. This is the uh, stop distance from the end of the field, which I believe is set at the minimum at the moment. Looks like the maximum is 4.5. I'm assuming that's meters. Again, features I typically don't use, folks. Like I said, I just do the turn to myself. Okay, we'll hop over to one more vehicle. Actually, we got two more vehicles yet, I believe. Like I said, trying to show you folks as many different uh, GPS combinations as possible here for all the different uh, types of setups. Now, for this mower here, I'm actually just going to get started going straight here. Okay, that should be pretty straight. If we auto set the width, you notice it says six meters. In fact, I don't think it even changed. This is actually a four meter mower, so we're gonna have to manually set this to four meters. Oh, we're there for, there we go, four meters. Now, offsets for GPS cannot actually go high enough for this, so we're actually gonna use no offset. 
That's going to be the easiest way I found to set this up. Because the GPS will not do a high enough offset. You cannot do an offset greater than the width of your course. So it's four meters. In this case, you can't do an offset greater than... Help if I was locked on here. You cannot do an offset greater than two meters. So basically half the width of your course. Okay, we'll flip sides with a mower here. And if I've been using auto steer, it should have worked out. Looks like it actually will still work out about right. You'll notice we are not missing anything. Getting the best possible usage here. Now it looks like we actually might miss a little bit up here. Like I said, just because I did not have the GPS locked on there. So essentially, the tractor's following this lane, even though it's mowing over here. I know it's not quite set up right. But like I was saying, because GPS cannot do a large enough offset, this is pretty much the way you have to do it. Okay, and then we'll do one more setup here. That is not the setup. There we go. We got the uh, Homer, which is the uh, sugar beet harvester here. And we're going to get this uh, fired up here. Again, control zero, control period. Get the automatic width, which I actually I think is four meters. Oh, looks like I might have set this up already, so we'll just leave it at four meters. If you calculate the width, yes, it is at four meters. And I'm actually going to use the steering mode here. We're going to set this to... I think we want crab steering right, I believe. And we got the uh, steering locked on. Now, because the header is down the center of the vehicle here, you do not need an offset. I know it would seem like you probably would think you need an offset, but you actually do not need one. Just set it to four meters, and away you're going. And obviously, once you get around to the other side there, you're going to change your crab mode on the homer here to the left side. And just uh, continue up the next uh, GPS line. So anyway, with that, folks, I think that'll about do it for this video. Again, I'll just quick go over the uh, controls here. It's control zero to open the GPS, control period to bring up the advanced. I'll just get in the vehicle here. Uh, control zero to bring up the GPS, control period brings up the advanced options. It also hides the GPS. So as you cycle through, it cycles like through three options here. So control period brings up advanced, control period again hides it, and control period again brings up just a little GPS window there. Control enter is going to line up the GPS to your vehicle. Control three, and this is all on the numpad, by the way, with the exception of the left control. Control three is going to auto set it. Now on the main GPS window here, the advanced controls, you got options to save and load courses. Again, something I've never really used. Uh, if you have more advanced GPS courses, like say your plows or something like that, you wanted to save them, you can do that. The uh, GPS set course commands here. You can shift your course over to the left or right. Uh, very useful for like uh, fertilizer applications where you can't necessarily see, you know, where the GPS is going to line up until you set it. Then you're like, oh, well, I just need to move this course over just a little bit, you know, right down to the you know, edge of the field there. You can now rotate the course 90. You can also rotate the course in increments. So if you want to set it a little bit of an angle like that, you can do so. Next down here, we have GPS line mode. Drive forward here. This basically sets the uh, GPS lines up out of the ground a little bit. Uh, this is particularly useful when harvesting uh, taller crops. You can actually see the GPS lines if you want to anyway. And we'll just set that. You can also have no lines or just the normal, this is the normal line mode here. You can uh, save and load courses from neighbors. This is a particularly useful on, say, multiplayer servers, or if you use like a combine, combining weed or something like that, and you have a windrow, and you want to get the baler to bale it, you can load up the combine's course on the baler, and you follow right down, you know, the same course as the combine used. You also have a steering mode. Again, a mode I've never really used. It's supposed to be for steering wheels. I never turn it on. I just leave it off all the time, even though I do use a steering wheel. And like I was showing earlier here, we got the auto turn options, plus or minus for the number of rows you want to skip. You got the turn mode, basically does nothing. 
or you can have it set to stop at the end of the field, or you can have it set auto turn. And then these are the auto turn directions here. You can also have the stop closer or further away from the end of the field. Moving on up here, we got the offset commands. Uh, you can zero the offset, plus or minus the offset, flip the offset side, and turn on automatic offset reversal. Uh, like I was saying, this mode is for the uh, blue flip style plow there, or basically for that matter, any flip style plows. And then you got your basic work with here, plus or minus, and then the automatic. And the automatic, by the way, will set an offset. So for those who are wondering about that, like with the plows, it should automatically detect it. Uh, biggest thing is, just make sure you're straight first. Once you're straight, you should be lined up with the GPS. So anyway, folks, with that, that'll do it for the GPS mod. Like I said, I tried to cover as many uh, scenarios as I could possibly think of that you might use the GPS on here. Uh, the plows, the mowers, etc. So with that, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.